Okay, saddle your horse and harness your chaos. It's time for another beginner's guide. Now we're talking. Sit back and relax as we tell you everything you need to know about the Witcher blood origin. Skills. So you know how everyone keeps banging on about this conjunction of the spheres? Conjunction. Conjunction. Conjunction of the spheres. Yes, I've read books before. Well, not everyone has, Geralt. Explain. To do that, we have to go back. Way back. Welcome to 1200 years ago, a time before monsters, witches, and humans. Yep, even the sexy ones. This was the time of the elves. History is all around us, brother. So across the continent, we have three elven kingdoms at constant war with each other. And yes, I know we have dwarfs, but... Your world is built on our bones. Well, that's not good. The time of the spheres is upon us. Shit. Suddenly, for reasons I don't want to spoil here, those three kingdoms, well, they're no longer with us, leaving the continent in flux and a monster on the loose. Monster? How can that even exist? Not only does it exist, it looks like this ragtag crew is going to have to go and kill it. This is insane. So, how did they kill this monster? Where did it come from? In the sky. A great beast. Will they need to create a monster to kill a monster? How do they rate their chances? <laughs> We're fucked. Will there be more chat about destiny? This is my destiny. 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 Fuck. Destiny. Will there be more violence? Well, it is the Witcher. What is the conjunction of the spheres anyway? And do all these questions get answered in the plot of Blood Origin? Yes. Yes, they do. Ah. Well, I guess I'll just watch that then, eh?